In The Australian this week, I reported comments that Anthony Albanese made when he was Assistant General Secretary of the Labor Party in New South Wales. At the time, he was calling for death duties and inheritance tax. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg tried to ask Albanese about it during question time that day in Parliament, but Albanese didn't want to know about it. This is what the Leader of the Opposition has said at a Labor conference. Comrade Chair, I'm pleased to move the resolution in calling upon the government to consider the imposition of an inheritance tax, Mr Speaker. I'm not making it up. That's the Leader of the Opposition's own words. In my story, I detailed how Albanese, at the time, quoted remarks from other politicians and, and he supported them. This was a speech Albanese gave where he said that anyone earning over $100,000 didn't actually earn the money. That's the equivalent, according to the RBA website, to about $200,000 today. Let's bring in my panel senior writer at the Fin Review, Aaron Patrick, and executive director at GT Communications, Gemma Tognini. Gemma, Albanese is desperately trying to walk away from his socialist past. He ridicules anyone who asks questions about it by saying it was 30 years ago, but he was in a senior role at the time. And do you think it is still relevant because it says something about his values and what he stood for throughout his political career? A couple of things there, Shari. Of course, it's still relevant. You typically don't see hardcore socialist left politicians changing their course. And the easiest thing for Mr Albanese to have done when questioned was to say, look, that was 30 years ago. I was a kid. I was, you know, part of that movement at the time. Those were the views I held at the time. They are not the views that I hold now. And the Australian people can be confident that is not part of my agenda. He said none of that. So it's the sin of omission, Shari, here, not the sin of commission. And Australians have every right to be suspicious of Labor's taxation agenda because Labor loves to spend other people's money.